testing. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I can't believe people. You know, this woman was driving, driving, and knitting, driving, and knitting. So the police saw her, and in the motorcycle, see, he went to her, and the police told her, pull over. And she said, no, it's a pair of socks. <laughs> I can't believe people. My dear brothers and sisters, you're welcome today to give thanks to God for his many blessings to us. That's the Holy Eucharist, that beautiful time to be in the presence of God and to put in his hands close to his heart our children, our youth, our sick brothers and sisters, our families, our parents, our grandparents. It's a beautiful time to uh, put in the presence of God our faithful departed so that they can be uh, healed and welcomed to paradise. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word in the flesh. You are splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. Today also in our prayers, with our prayers, we are united with all those people who see us in the live stream. We also pray for all your prayers. O oh God, by whom we are redeemed and received adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus says your Son, who lives and sends with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, the wicked shall die for his guilt but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be, are summed up in this saying nicely. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you had one over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you good a Gentile, or a tax collector, a man, I say to you, who whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whoever, whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen. Again, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything, for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father, for where two or three are gathered together in my holy name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Per Evangelica Dicta. Deliantur Nostra Delicta. I can believe children. I can believe children. You know, uh, this little boy came from the school, and Papa asked him, my son, how did you do in the tests today? The little boy said, Papa, I did good, but in one, I feel like Napoleon Bonaparte. I did good, but in one, I feel like Napoleon Bonaparte. What that mean? I came down in history. <laughs> he failed. My dear brothers and sisters, are you happy today, yes or not? Yes! yes. Are we people of faith? Do we believe in Jesus Christ? Yes or not? Yes! 
My dear brothers and sisters, we are supposed to be happy people. I am happy. Why? Today I had the opportunity to do, to do three baptisms in Spanish. And I was very happy to see these little children becoming disciples of Christ. Two, child, two uh, babies and one girl. They became Christians. I was happy. We are supposed to be happy. And my dear brothers and sisters, the readings today from Ezekiel, from Romans, from the Gospel of Matthew, the readings today brings us a beautiful message. What is the message? We must help others to find the love of God and His salvation. Everybody, we must help others to find the love of God and His salvation. I couldn't hear you. We must help others to find the love of God and His salvation. That's the whole point. If we remember that beautiful reading from the gospel, shh, don't give up. Shh, don't give up. Help your brother to be happy. Help your brother to be wiser. Don't give up. My dear brothers and sisters, what are we supposed to help others to find the love of God and his salvation? Easy, because we have one certainty and we have a mission. Because we have one certainty, and we have one, I couldn't hear you, we have one certainty, and we have one mission. What is our certainty? My dear brothers and sisters, what do we believe? Very simple. We believe that Jesus, sorry, we believe that God is love, and Jesus is the love of God made flesh. Amen. Amen. We believe that Jesus came out of love for love. Amen. Amen. We believe that Jesus came to save us, to make us whole, great again, to make us holy. That is our certainty. Jesus came again to save us, to make us whole. God don't like to be more or less happy. No! Oh, I am. How are you today? What does that mean? I can't believe people. I have come that you have life. I have it abundantly. God, Jesus came to make us, to save us, to make us whole, abundantly happy, to make us holy. Raise a hand. Raise a hand that persons who have uh, parents and grandparents that they are holy. Raise a hand of people who have holy people in their families. Me too. Raise a hand the parents who have holy children, obedient children, respectful children. <laughs> Somebody said, we pray to the Lord. <laughs> hey! God called us to be holy. God likes us to be happy. God loves us. We need to leave this church with that certainty. God is love and God loves us. And for that reason, God likes you to be saved. Uh, saved. I, don't, I couldn't hear you. God likes you to be saved, to be close to his heart. For that reason, are we happy? Yes. I, are we grateful with Jesus? Yes. And what is our mission? Oh, I forgot to tell you. The homily today will be six minutes. How more, more, more time I have? Three minutes. I had more three minutes. That's good. Thank you, guys. My dear brothers and sisters, what is our mission? Our mission, our mission is a personal mission and social mission because God loves us very much personally. Are you paying attention? Yes. Are you paying attention? Yes. Personally, you need to be a person of peace, a person of joy. You need to have harmony. You need to be a people of prayer. You need to be the certainty. You need to have your personal mission is to understand that you are powerful. 
raise a hand the powerful people, the people who didn't have, raise a hand the powerful people, everybody. My dear brothers and sisters, we, are, we need to be peaceful people. How do you know that God is in your life? When I was in the seminary, they asked that question. How do we know that we have God in our lives? Oh, Father, if we are praying very, very much. If we are able to serve everybody in the community, if we are able to sacrifice ourselves always. And the teacher, no, no. How do you know? How, we do, how do we know that Jesus is in our lives if we have peace? If we have peace. How do you spell peace? P-E-A-C-E. -E. If you have peace, that's it. It's a whole point. We know that God is in our hearts if we have peace. For that reason, nobody will take away our peace. No! Nobody will take away our happiness. No! Nobody will take away our love for Jesus. So, my dear brothers and sisters, that is our personal mission, to be in the presence of Christ in peace. And finally, and finally, my dear brothers and sisters, what, what is our mission? our social mission. And I think the Beatles, the Beatles, I am a Beatles guy, you know? I love the Beatles. I would like, I would like the, that the Beatles could, could be Mexicans. <laughs> In that way, I will understand all the things they, they say, you know? But I love the Beatles. Beatles, what is our mission? Hey, Jude, don't be afraid. Take a sad song. Amen. Amen. That is our mission. Hey, don't be afraid. Take a sad song and make it better. Your brother is perfect. No. Your wife is perfect. <laughs> These husbands are politically correct. <laughs> yeah. No! Nobody is perfect. But we're disciples of Christ. We need to bring others to know the love of God and his salvation. We need to help others to be in the presence of God. For that, a disciple of Christ socially has the mission to accompany other people to be better. Amen? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I can't believe men. Before the Mass, I saw this Alba. I said, oh my goodness, it's very light. So I, I will use it. But the only thing I saw that this light is, but you know, it's very big. I am a man. I don't have a problem with that. Women, women say, oh my goodness, it's no good. Let me make it this and this. I am a man. You know, men, we are very easy, to, easy going. When I go to shopping, I see something. Two minutes later, I am out. It's easy to be men. Thank you, Jesus. I am a man. <laughs> Just kidding. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all these were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
for our sake he was crucified and the point is violent. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. Believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward for the resurrection of the dead and the light of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, confident in Jesus' words that where two or three are gathered together in his name, there I am in the midst of them. Let us bring our prayers before the Lord. For bishops, priests, deacons, and all ministers who minister within the church, May they serve as humble mediators in resolving conflicts among the people of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil servants who strive to end racial inequality and violence, may they lead us towards reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who labor in unhealthy and life-threatening situations, for those who are paid not a just who are not paid a just wage, and for those who have recently lost their jobs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the dying, and those who care for them, may our prayers bring them healing, comfort, and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, we know that you love us. We know that you hear our every need. Grant them to Christ our Lord. Bendito sea Señor Dios del Universo por este pan, fruto de la piel de la mujer que recibe su ciudad y ahora te presentamos el sabor de su pan de vida. Bendito seas por siempre, Señor. Bendito sea Señor Dios del Universo por este vino, fruto de la piel del trabajo de la mujer que recibe su ciudad y ahora te presentamos el sabor de su de vida de salvación. Bendito seas por siempre, Señor. Acepta, Señor, nuestro corazón contrito, nuestro espíritu humilde, que este sea nuestro sacrificio que se nos hace todos los delitos. Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
lit up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which we, he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, and to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you and each of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Philippe, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. My sisters, my brothers, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
my sisters, my brothers. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodiat anima mea in vita eterna.
let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you have, you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit for, from your beloved Son's great gift that we may merit an eternal share in this life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Please be seated a little bit. Son announcements. Beginning next Saturday, sep Saturday, September 12th, we will return to only one vigil mass on Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Confessions will be at 3.30. Do you know someone who may be interested in becoming Catholic? If so, please let them know about RCIA. We will be glad to give you information to share with them. Our first RCIA, RCIA session is this Wednesday at 6.30 p.m., but there is still plenty of time to join. This week, table, take, this week, take the risk and ask someone, have you thought about becoming Catholic? You will never know that one question can change their life for eternity. This is an opportunity, next uh, announcement. This is an opportunity for our young people. Do you want to become more active at church and grow closer to Christ? Then please consider becoming part of our altar server ministry. This is not just a ministry for younger students. We would really like to see our high school students to be the leaders in this ministry and share your experience and gifts with others. Meeting uh, for new servers will be Saturday, uh, September 19 at 10 a.m. here in the church. Make your calendars for the first ever San Jose Mega Tailgate Parking Lot Party, September 18. We will start at 6.30. Finally, we will continue live stream the 4.30 Vigil Mass in English and 12.30 Spanish Mass each Sunday at 2 p.m. We have a communion service outside at the shrine for those still unable to come to Mass. Please stay in your pews at the end of Mass and our ushers will direct you out. Please stand. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you always and your families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace.